Hello everybody. Uh, I'm just going to record a quick little video of some uh, Magic the Gathering Arena playing to test out my new intros and outros I was working on uh, for my channel. Let's continue our premier draft. We drafted a uh, Azorius deck. Two losses so far, only one win. Has not been great, but let's uh, try and burn through a bit of that and see how it uh, how it comes out. A lot of delays lately playing Arena. I've noticed that uh, slow to slow to find people to match up to, which is uh, interesting. Shouldn't take that long, I would think. But what do I know? Twenty seconds seems like a long time to wait for a popular game like this. Keely D. <clears throat> uh, we have two lands. We have a first. Yeah, we have some early stuff. Let's keep that. Uh, not a fan of the Azorius colors, but uh, the first pack I opened had a... Oh, I think it was the blue Flipland Mythic in it, so I couldn't really say no. It's kind of like I have to get that pack in the draft, It's or p get that pick in the draft. It wasn't worth it to skip it. Let's get in... A Cliffhaven Sellsword. Hopefully he has nothing. He's playing green, so he's got some ramp going maybe. Oh, we'll do a little trade. Uh, maybe. Let's drop you. Do we snare it? He's going to have something much bigger. We're going to have to control. So, um, No, we're going to go to combat. Let's see if he blocks. Does he take the bait? Probably won't. So he'll want to gain his one life, but oh, he assumes I've got something else handy, but I do not. I've actually been, or I was actually tempted, even though it screws up your game a bit, to always have a couple islands in a deck, no matter what uh, I'm playing, just because I guess it keeps people on their toes, thinking maybe they've got, uh, maybe I've got some sort of a. Uh, Counterspell somewhere, just uh, just a little bit of a jerk move, but that would be neat, right? Um, no, we're not going to bounce a land back. We don't have any benefits from landfalls right now. Let's see, Dauntless Survivor. Okay, so he's got a two-two there, no reach, and I can fly over him. Uh, his opponent mills three cards. Yeah, we can get the Ruined Crab in there. Get the crab in. Drop an island, make him mill. Uh, let's go to attack. Our creature enters the battlefield. Yeah, play. And whenever he enters, okay, so let's end that turn. I'm not going to snare him yet because. Oh, wait, he missed a land drop. Huh. Oh, another one. You're going to make that a big boy? Cool. Um. It's only when he enters, so yeah, we can block there. Let's block that. Then we'll snare him next turn, which is good because he's already tapped. Let's snare, snare you. Um, let's attack. We'll keep that for some combat tricks later if we need to get someone. Oh, I put a one of on prowling, prowling Felidar. So let's get him in next turn. Hope for a land that we can pump a bit. Okay, you gain life and you pump him. Uh, no, we'll say no. So the whole point of playing blue is to be able to say no, right? Right. Uh, pass to attackers. Yep, you can ping me for one. That's fine. I'll take the one my turn. What do we got? Ooh. As long as you control another wizard, Expedition Diviner has one. This creature dies, draw a card. Or the Felidar. Well, we don't have any land yet, so let's play another flyer. Because as long as we're in the air, he cannot hurt us. Okay, you got a Reacher now. Dagnabbit. Eh, but you're tapped out, so we were just going to block there. Didn't plan that out too well, I guess. Okay, now we can drop the Felidar. Drop a land so he pumps. Uh, we can kill that guy by attacking with two flyers. 
blockers. Please block one. Excellent. Resolute strike him. Kill you. Hurt you. Mm hmm. Three lands in a green deck, eh? In a mono green deck. And only three lands out. That's weird. I know it was draft, so, you know, maybe his luck is was terrible, but... Scale the heights. Oh, you just want to gain some life. What is that? Uh, gain two life, you may play additional land. Okay. Scry two, then draw two cards. Mm. Let's attack first. For damage, and then we'll scry and draw. Maybe I should have done that first in case I had a pump. Scry two, okay. Seafloor Stalker. And of course, celebrate another creature. Gain one life. Don't need to gain life. Uh, no, you're just gonna be blocked this turn. No, let's take our chances. Ooh, Winged Wizard. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, Winged Wizard's probably gonna draw a card. Okay, you discard a card. Cool. Now that, uh, when creature dies, draw a card, yeah. Although I'm assuming he's not gonna die unless he has a Reacher to block or a Flyer himself. Not a lot of flying green creatures, are there? Oh. I do not know. Come on, QED. There we go. Blow up a little rock golem. A 1-1 one, one death toucher. And he's got a 1-1 one, one counter on him. I don't understand why, but uh, was that four or five? I didn't have enough for that. So next, all attack or attackers. Oh, he's at eight. I see. So I hit him for seven. I guess he could block here and kill that. That's what's going to happen, isn't it? Hey, he gave up. Okay, that works. That's reasonable. And we move up to bronze tier three in the limited. Rank up. And then a bunch of little cool things happen down there with nothing actually happening. Waiting for the server. Cool. Claim that prize. Now let's hop into our brawl with Omni Brawl. There we go. We got this Omni Brawl. Copied off of a, well, they were all copied off net decks, but this one, uh, when I saw it played, played very well. So let's see if I can play it just as well. We'll find out. With this brawl, it's the closest we get to Commander. Jack Face versus Skywalker. Okay, Skywalker. We've got four lands. No early plays. Um, let's keep it anyways. It's a long game. And we drop the Fabled Passage? No, we keep that for later. We drop the Temple first. Uh, we keep the Cultivate. <coughs> we'll drop that as a green, probably. Right? Yes, we drop you as a green source. Then we will drop, next turn we drop the island so we can cultivate and get a red out, right? Beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, create a 2-2 white griffin creature token. Well, that's fine, we're not doing that. So we're going to play this, we're going to cultivate. We're going to grab a forest and a mountain, I said those backwards. Put a card into a battle for another into your hand. We're going to put the mountain down, forest into hand, right? Am I, am I missing a color? Am I? No, because I got white there. Thank God. So Omnath comes out next turn. We Fabled Passage. We burn the Fabled Passage, and we get to stage two of Omnath, right? Yes. So Omnath comes out. We draw a card. Cool. We Fabled Passage. We gain 
We activate the Fabled Passage. We grab ourselves another forest. Sure. We double triggers. We can play our... Ooh, do we play the Henge? Huh. Maybe we play the Henge. And then can I do anything with the Henge? A double green. There's nothing I can play with double green, though, is there? Nope. So we next, next to attackers, we end our turn. <laughs> this was his commander, right? Whenever you draw a second card each turn, create a 2 2 cat. Mono green card draw? Really? Interesting. I guess that's a thing. I'm not well versed enough in magic to really know. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Well, let's tap and get some mana out of it. And resolve that. Can't play anything with it, but at least I got the mana out of it for no apparent reason. Heraldic banner. Yeah, that can resolve. I can't do anything about that. And he chooses a green. Fast to combat. Oh, no attacks. Okay, good. So, um, beginning of your end step, if you gained more than that, I can get a flyer in. So that's what we're going to play. We're going to play you. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield in your turn, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. Beginning of your end step, if there are any exile cards them into their owner's graveyard, then Valkyrie Exploration deals that much damage to each opponent. Sure. Sure, why not? Um, that's damage. We're going to drop this land. Trigger, gain life, exile that card. I cannot play it, and it's got no value. God damn it. No attacks. But I get my birdie. And it did no damage to him, right? Yeah, no, because there's no value to that card. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These brawl games go nice and slow, which is good too. As much as some people might not like a slower game, I think it's it's fun. I don't like slow, drawn out standard games, but when it comes to this, it's kind of fun for some reason. I don't know why. Just feels just feels right. I was about to complain, but I guess I was taking forever reading my cards too, so. The top five cards of your library, put any number of permanent cards among them. So what do we have there? We have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. I guess we drop this as a land. Ooh. Oh, why you do that? Yeah, take that action. That hurt. Jerk. At least I can get him out right away. Drop this as a land. Give something uh, trample. Cool. And make another cat. I see. I see your game. Ooh. <sighs> Whenever this creature mutates, search your library for a basic land card. Ah, uh, that's gonna be useful later. Drop Omnath. When you came back. We are going to gain some life with a forest. Cool. <laughs> we drew a planes, of course. Nothing here has any kind of flying stuff. We'll attack with a birdie. Make another birdie. Where's Kitchen Magician? I'm going to play a basic land card. I don't have a lot of basics left, but we will mutate them onto that bird, because why not, right? It's cheaper to mutate them than anything else. Now we got a Reacher there. That doesn't help me. Another kitty cat. Everyone's got Trample, eh? We'll give them all Trample. Is it that? Oh, Gem Razor. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think we mutate Gem Razor onto it first. Mutate it onto one of the birdies. Put it on top. Put it over. Cool. We're going to get rid of uh, draw card. Creature control that trample. We'll get rid of that one first. Cool. None of these are artifacts things right now okay 
then I guess we uh, add one mana of any color. That'll be enough. So we're going to do that and add a green. So Lotus Cobra comes in. We drop. Uh, two targets. No, we're going to drop the Triome. Yes, because that'll drop the Triome. Ruthless Power does some stuff. Exiles a card. Another freaking land card I had to exile? Of course. Take green. We will mutate onto Gem Razor. Put it under. Target an artifact. Uh, legendary enchantment creature. Yeah, let's get rid of you. We'll put a force down. Cool. Everything triggers again. Pick um, green. Cool. Uh, whenever all of my attacks or blocks, choose one. Create a three, three, four, five. It does five damage to the guy, if not. Choose one. Create a Greek beast. Gain three life or draw a card. Let's throw him into play. He's a big guy. I'd rather have him on the field. We've got no one with reach now, right? No. So we're going to attack with the two flyers. Two attackers. Trigger, trigger. Leave my Omnath alone. I can get another, or I can do X damage. Divided as you choose among up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers. So, I can kill these two if I do four damage with it. Target bird, cat, dog, goat, ox, or snake. Cool. Not elf. Scry three, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature or land, draw a card. Okay. So we're going to do this for four. Right, and then we can kill those two guys. Or X is four. I've got two red sources, or no? I do not have two red sources. Darn it, I don't have two reds? Arg! I need a red source. And he gives up. All right, then. Well, that worked out well. Well, that uh, moved pretty quick. One win gives you that much. Did you have fun in the match? Sure. I won. Of course I had fun. Bronze tier 3. Really? Why would Brawl move you up so fast? So much further. Okay. Waiting for the server. And there's our prizes. Cool. What's this? Reward. All of us text emote. Whatever. Well, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you like the new intro and outro. And um, see you next time. Bye-bye.